Okay, garden update number nine. Hi. It's September 6th. Uh, just about winding down here. It's probably another, might be our last, maybe one more update after this. But uh, we want to show you what we got. We haven't been out here uh, in the garden very much, uh, I'd say, in the last three, four weeks. So uh, let's see what we got here. Our Brussels sprouts, uh, doing okay. I uh, got a lot of, a lot of sprouts on. It was our first year. Uh, I don't know how how long they're supposed to take. I think uh, maybe another month uh, into late into September, October. Uh, but uh, obviously our broccoli's all all done. Has been. It's just bolting now. We haven't touched it. Um, our red cabbage never got very big. We picked one and uh, about ready to pick the other other three. Never really, uh, but. About the size of a softball. Um, not, not as big as I thought. Correct. Uh, real good year on the peppers. We have, uh, here's our green pepper uh, batch. Yeah. Not a, not a great for, uh, didn't have a whole lot of luck with them this year. With uh, just the plain green ones. And we got a bunch, but nothing like our, uh, like our other ones. So those, you can see there's still a lot of little peppers on them. Uh, so, you know, we're gonna see how long, how long they go for, but a lot of, a lot of medium-sized ones. All the other ones went really well. Here, uh, here's our Valencia. They turned orange into red, and actually we lost a, lost some because they're just too long on the vine. And here's our other ones, and here's our yellow ones, and there's just a ton of them about, you know, they still need a, a ways to go, and I don't know if we'll... If they'll grow enough before it gets too cold or not due to frost, but we'll see how they go. So we're going to pick, do a lot of picking today. The uh, Cubanelles had a really good year on them. They're still going, and then we got lots of lots of new growth. So we're going to pick the big ones today, and hopefully still have time for another batch. Again, lots of them here did really well. Just tons of peppers this year. Again, I think I had nine different varieties uh, throughout. Here are the Valencias. Uh, these did really well as well. This is our first year. First year I did these. Uh, I learned, I think, that the varieties not, they just don't get huge, but there's a lot of them. Just lots and lots that are ready to pick. That turned red and ready to go, and they're, they're pretty tasty. So been pickling a lot of them so and then just tons of tons of small ones so I don't know how if we can uh, if they'll keep growing before the first frost then my Hungarian wax uh, definitely slowing down did really well this year we had four of those and just just keep picking and just full of big ones and, and little ones and they keep keep growing so we're gonna pick a bunch of them today and hopefully they get they get bigger as well. So coming down here, our cucumbers are all gone. They've been gone for a while. That was probably uh, one of the best things I had last year and they did not do great this year. Got a bunch, but nothing like last year where they just kept on coming. Uh, ultimately the squash bugs that killed my green zucchini that was there my yellow squash, my spaghetti squash, my watermelon, and then ultimately the green beans, I mean uh, the cucumbers. They uh, just kept on moving from plant to plant and I couldn't get them under control. So here is the other two green, green peppers and here's my beans and I really just let them go and picked a whole bunch and then they, uh, they kept going and they fell over. Last month we have not been in the garden as often as we like. We went away a couple times and kind of let her go. But here's our tomatoes. Tomatoes did really well. Again, well this year, last year, I got hit with the blight and I didn't pick one tomato. Here I'm well over 100 already and I'm going to pick a, probably two dozen today. At least two or three dozen. And there are just tons of small green ones still. Uh, that I'm assuming will will not get 
too much bigger, but I'm gonna have to come up with some kind of, I've seen some people pickle them. So if anybody has a good recipe or suggestion on what to do with uh, the green tomatoes that never get ripe, you know, hopefully they do, but I'm, I'm guessing not here. Here's my older, my second batch of peppers. Uh, here's banana peppers. I'm gonna pick a bunch of them today, and these are just my actually my other tomato plants fell on them, so <laughs> lots of banana peppers. And here are my my hot cherry peppers. And as you can see, lots of them as well. So just pepper crazy, banana peppers. And uh, again, lots of hot, hot cherry peppers. Here are my pole beans. And as you see, this is where my watermelon was and spaghetti squash and yellow squash all gone. But my pole beans are just full. Just just everywhere so I'm going to pick all the ones I can today and I'm actually going to blanch them and freeze them since there's no way I can eat all these fresh so blanch them and freeze them for the winter and I'll have I'll have beans all for the winter lastly my lemon boy tomatoes uh, that are just falling over the place. I uh, planted these three plants about a month after my original tomato plants, at least a month. And uh, they started late, but uh, they just grew lots and lots of fruit. I have, I mean, just a couple dozen, 20, 30 tomatoes on each plant. I got three of them, and, and now they've turned, and they're turning yellow. Um, so I'm going to pick a bunch of them today as well, and uh, there's a lot of green ones on there still, so again, hopefully they have time to time to turn. They're all over the ground, and <laughs> my cages just collapsed with the, the weight of them, so. But uh, other than that, uh, it was actually a very good year in the garden, and I still got lots of picking to do. So, again, give you a little shot. My pole beans, as bad as it was for my uh, squashes and cucumbers, everything else was really good year. So, still lots of tomatoes to pick. Got to be 200 tomatoes uh, there still, and lots and lots of peppers. So, and then hopefully my Brussels sprouts will end up doing well. But overall. It's a good season, and uh, I'm sure I'll give you a, probably another one more update before I uh, call it a year. Uh, any comments are welcome, and thanks a lot for watching.